4K. All right, let's do this. The Omen Max 16 laptop with an RTX 5090 laptop GPU is connected to a 4K display, specifically the Omen 27K. We're testing this to max out the GPU potential to compare it to the 5070 Ti in 4K. In the previous gaming benchmark, it was a lower resolution, so the 9800X3D, the best gaming CPU out there, helped the 5070 Ti pull ahead. If you're not familiar with GPU testing, we have to be GPU bound, meaning all the tasks have to basically be offloaded from the CPU and onto the GPU. When you game at 4K, you're basically GPU bound at that point, and the CPU is just kind of sitting idle, not doing all that much. The Omen Max 16 with its RTX 5090 laptop GPU and the Intel Core Ultra 9 275HX CPU did about 95 FPS. This is 4K. Let's move on to the 5070 Ti. The test bench is ready to go on the 4K monitor. These are the settings. Let's move ahead. This guy's sword is absolutely amazing. The test bench with the 5070 Ti did about 10% better with its FPS performance. Not bad at all, but I have to say both systems were smooth, no hitching. It would have been really hard to tell the difference between the desktop and the laptop. So what we're learning with the Omen Max 16 with the RTX 5090 laptop GPU is that it's around the performance of a 5070 Ti. We saw in previous videos it crushes the 5060 Ti, it beat the 5070 Ti in things like Blender, but it's underperforming the 5070 Ti in this particular gaming benchmark, Monster Hunter Wild. But there are two obvious differences here. One, this is a laptop, so it actually is very audible, not loud, but very audible when on full load, compared to a desktop which has been entirely quiet. And two, this is $4,400. That is not $4,400. But I am taking this to Taiwan with me when I go there for Computex. I'm not taking a desktop to Taiwan. 